All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Florida Boy. You are watching Florida Boy EDC. Today, we're going to be doing a video on the Workos TD-01. Let's get into it. So this is not going to be like an uber long review or anything like that, um, but we are going to go dive into the skinny of this flashlight. Uh, this light does come in right about the $40 mark. I think normal price, they say it's 60 bucks, but I've, I've seen it on sale for around the $40 mark. So um, safe bet to say if you're going to pick this one up, it's going to be pretty close to the $40 mark. So let's go ahead and do the demographics of this guy. So this flashlight comes in just at six inches and the weight, bum, bum, bum. come on old girl, we'll do it like this, 9.2 ounces, chunky boy, chunky, chunky boy. So let's see how we feel about this flashlight. We're going to go ahead and do some size comparisons. Um, I think the most fitting size comparison is going to be the Javelot Mini. And uh, yeah, you can see it is no comparison. <laughs> so here's the Baton 3 Pro. You can, you're can you going to quickly see this is a gigantic flashlight. Um, how about the Olight Arkfeld? There we go. Lumen Top LM10. Wham bam. And I will just throw in a couple more. Here is the Olight i3T. And the Olight i5T. And there you go. You can see this is a big old flashlight. So here, here's the thing about this. This is one of those flashlights that you're going to take outside and you're going to pretend it's a lightsaber and you're going to beam the moon with it. And uh, it's going to be a ton of fun. Now for the people who are actually going to use this for its, <laughs> for its normal use or what it's intended for, um, I think that this flashlight is a very, very good thrower. Um, it does come with the 21700 battery. Whoop. And the nice thing about Workos is whenever you want them to include that battery, they really only charge a couple dollars. Like it's, it's really only a couple dollars to have it come with the battery. So I think that makes it a great value. Um, going back to like when I looked at the, um, the other Workos, the Zero Two, uh, this does have a battery door on it or a charging door on it. I'm not a huge fan of the charging doors. I just think, I think we should stay away from those, um, for lights that are intended for hard use or duty use or, you know, just any kind of field use. I think charging doors are not a good idea. Uh, if that part fails and you're out there and you're on a search and rescue crew, your light's going to hopefully not just fall apart on you, but that is, that can happen if you get it wet and it shorts out from the charging port. Uh, these things do have reverse polarity protection and surge protection and all that good stuff. It says on the website, I don't know how that correlates to the charging port. So I don't know if you short out the port, if it shorts out the whole light, I did not test that. <laughs> I'm not going to test that, but, uh, just something to keep in mind. So if we look at this, um, where, where I'll find it here in a second. So if we look at this from the top, uh, we have a gigantic lens reflector. Uh, this thing really is just a, literally a lightsaber. Uh, I, I mean, it's insane. It really is. It's, it's insane. Um, it's, it, this is going to be more comparable to like the Olight Javelot. This is one of your elite throwers. And, uh, I think, I think if you have a Javelot and you use a Javelot, you're probably going to like this. The grip on this is very, very big. This is a big old light. You could definitely just beat somebody with this. <laughs> but uh, something else that's kind of cool is I like that it has the glass breaker. So it is very, very tactical. Um, you can see here the heat sink is massive. Um, it does have ATR. So pretty nice. That's advanced temperature regulation. Therm thermal regulation? Temper I think it's advanced temperature regulation. Don't quote me. But uh, it really, I, I have had zero issues with this thing getting hot whenever I'm outside and I'm pretending that I'm a Jedi. So uh, I've had the zero issues with that and I will sit outside and blast it on turbo. 
<laughs> that's the only that is the only way to use a thrower flashlight is turbo full send every single time you turn it on that is the only way to use it so um that is what that is what i use this for is literally i don't have i don't have an actual like professional use for something like this so my my review is going to be just based on use and uh of course we're going to go out we'll do some beam shots i'll show you what the pattern looks like uh, aside from that, looking at the body of this, we are CNC aluminum. It does say military grade. I, I can't attest to that. A lot of people throw that out there, but it does say type three anti-abrasive finish. And I, that I do believe, I believe that the finish on this is very, very rugged. Uh, and, and it's not slick, especially with all that jumping, all that knurling you have going on. It is not slick. It is, it is very grippy, which is, which is pretty nice. It leads me back to the point of saying you could grab onto this and you could just beat somebody with it and uh, you, you wouldn't feel a thing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think I think in terms of build quality, I think the build quality is great. So let's talk about use here. We have a tail switch and we have a button. If you press that button, you're not going to get nothing. But you press the tail switch, that turns it on. You can see your battery indicator light up. And then you use the tails or you use the button to just cycle through the modes. And that's, that's how you use this. Uh, you can double tap. It'll take you to turbo. There we go. <laughs> I wasn't tapping it fast enough. So we're going to go back down to low. So here we are on low. And uh, the, the pattern's kind of cool, right? Uh, let, let me grab the, the Javelot. So, boom. There we go. So the pattern's kind of cool, right? It's big. It's got a very big beam. But uh, I think the Javelot is definitely a little bit brighter but I, I don't know we're gonna go outside we're gonna compare them i haven't done that yet i didn't i don't do that on my free time i save that for the channel so we're gonna go outside here in just a second after we're done talking about the light so let's turn this back on we'll go down to eco mode there we go so now we're on eco so eco mode you are 30 lumens 70 hours low mode you are 150 lumens 15 hours medium 350 for nine hours high 900 for four hours and then you go back down to eco if we double tap we are at 2200 lumens for two and a half hours that is a long run time for turbo um that is a very long time long run time for turbo and uh i have yet to test that i will i will we're going to exclude that two and a half hours of runtime from this review uh, I have not done, I'm, I'm going to record it and do a time lapse. I've just had a lot going on, so I haven't had the opportunity yet, uh, but I will. And then we will touch back on that again. So don't, don't worry. It might be a short or something, but we'll, we, we will, we'll, we'll, we'll touch on it. Don't worry. Uh, impact resistance. This is going to get you about three feet, about a meter. If you drop it, they say it's safe for about a foot and eh, that's not great. That's that's not great. That's not a great impact resistance, but it is IPX8 rated. So as long as you don't drop it on the concrete, you drop it in water, you're fine. <laughs> um, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, it's it's a thrower. It's a thrower. There's not a there's not a ton to say. Um, because I I'm it's not going to be something that I use professionally. Uh, this does have strobe, SOS, and beacon. I I don't know. Do you, do you use those a lot on, on throwing thrower flashlights? I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like that would be something you'd want more for a flood, right? I guess you could use it on a throw if you're really trying to signal out to somebody. I just, I'm not, I, I don't, <laughs> my experience with, uh, with flashlights like these are, um, very, very, very slim. So, well, you know, there you go. Three taps and then, um, I, I don't, yeah, there we go. Okay. So three taps will take you through strobe and then you can click and that will turn off the strobe. We'll go to three taps, two taps, and it'll change two taps. It'll change. There you go. So, um, that's how you cycle through those. So it's one, two, three, one, two, one, two. I must have not passed fast enough, but that's how you do it. <laughs> Take my word for it. So uh, let's go ahead and go do some beam shots, and then we will come back and we will finalize this little review. Let's get to it. All right, next up on the beam shots is the Workos TD-01. And uh, super, super stoked to show you guys this flashlight. So 
let's go ahead and do some beam shots. Before I start, the only light we're gonna compare with this is the Javelot Mini because that's really the only other like true dedicated thrower that I have. So uh, yeah, that's, that's what we'll be using. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that, yep, yeah, there we go. Make sure the TD-01, the Workos, we'll just call it the Workos. We'll make sure the Workos is cycled to low and we'll go ahead and put the beam out there. So this is on low mode and my fence is gonna go out to right about 35 yards, which is going to be right there. And so we'll, we're just gonna go ahead and ramp it up because this thing, <laughs> so here we go, there's medium high higher i guess and then back down to low so we'll say moonlight low medium high and you can see i mean i'm i'm seeing spiders in my yard this thing this thing is a lightsaber like for real so let's go ahead and go turbo and then there's your turbo mode this thing is nuts look at this uh let's there we go <laughs> does it does it does it look like I'm holding a lightsaber? Does this look like a lightsaber? <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. This thing is too freaking cool. Too freaking cool. Like literally beaming the heavens right now. Like look, we're gonna tilt it up. It's just gonna go up. I can't I can't go high enough to show you how high this thing goes crazy 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 flashlight and i know there's better ones out there but for the price this one is i mean come on all right so let's go ahead and turn the workos back on to low and we'll go ahead and turn on the javelot mini and the javelot mini is pretty much full send at all times so what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and crank up the workos that's on high and then I'll just put him on turbo since, you know, the Javelot's full send. But here's the Javelot beam coming down in front. And here's the Workos beam lighting everything up. You can see how much more intense it is. It really is. It's crazy. So, like, if I go ahead and put these up, here's the Javelot next to the Workos. This is going to freak out my camera. Yep, that's what I thought. Look at that beam difference insane <laughs> oh totally insane it is getting a little warm but it's it's really not bad it's definitely hand handleable manageable so we'll go ahead and take it off of turbo one more time this is turbo or this is low mode you can see we really don't get the uh the beam the lightsaber effect that i like so much on low but we'll slowly gradually turn it up and you can start seeing that effect come in the brighter it gets <laughs> isn't that crazy that's so cool all right well that's uh that's going to be it for the td01 this thing is a beast and uh definitely will reach out and touch the heavens if that's what you're looking for so let's uh get back to the table so all in all i think i think this is worth the money uh especially because it's it's a 40 dollar awesome thrower of a flashlight i mean it's it's basically a spotlight in your hands it's a little big it's definitely not edc friendly this is this rolls back to me saying this is more of like a duty carry flashlight especially paired with something like this that's more pocket friendly this is the td02 um, these make an awesome little duo and uh, i think having between these two flashlights there's not a lot more that you would need if you are someone who's an operator or you know in the field or a police officer something like this could definitely be necessary for me it's not really necessary i think it's just really fun to play with <laughs> i think it's just really cool to go out and be like hey check this out check check this out and then you know blast the moon with it i think that's i think that's what makes this a really cool flashlight plus this reflector on this and this uh i'm not going to lie the setup on this is gorgeous. Look at that. It, it really is. Um, I, and I know that's kind of silly, but uh, if you look at the difference here, 
flip them both ways. Uh, the difference, this is, this looks gorgeous. Uh, I just love the design of the lens and the reflector. I, I just think, I think they did a really good job. Uh, functionality wise, it seems like it does, it seems like it does the job. So it's not just for, you know, to be pretty. Um, but I do like that. And, uh, you know, me being a flashlight collector, uh, aesthetics, cosmetics, uh, that is, that does play a role in my flashlight hobby. So, uh, yeah, I think they did that right. Recapping real fast, I wish they wouldn't have done the charging door. I wish that would have been just ixnade right off the design. But it seems like this one would be a little bit better than maybe what's on the TD-02. Because, you know, this isn't going to go in your pocket. So you are not you don't have to worry so much about the snagging coming out of the pocket. This would be something I'd probably, if I was a police officer, would be sitting next to me in the center console or something. Less likely to pull, you know during use it also feels like it's a lot more snug like pulling on this see how i can i can give it a little bit of a tug and it's not going to just pop out of there the td02 seems like it kind of pops out a little bit easier makes me a little nervous but what can i say uh i think i think for the 40 dollars price mark i think this is a great little thrower uh you do have a two-piece construction i don't remember if i said that or not but, uh, yeah, I think, I think this is excellent value. Um, thank you, Workos, for sending this flashlight in. I think this is pretty cool, and I'm glad to have this in my collection. Uh, it won't see a ton of use, but it will definitely be a party favor. For sure be a party favor. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. I will have the links in the descriptions below. They are not affiliate links, so feel free to uh, run over there and check out Workos. Thank you guys again for stopping by, checking out the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Ding the bell send this video to all your friends and family. <laughs> I would appreciate it. Thank you guys again. I'll catch you on the next one.